Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your PS4 in 3 minutes. You might be wondering, what can a jailbroken PS4 do? So, before we start, PS, if you get what I mean, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. This will help me make more videos like this. Here are some of the reasons why you need to jailbreak your PS4. Firstly, you can add some custom things based on your preferences. Second, you can adjust the frame rate to 60 FPS, but it only applies with some games. Third, you can play some emulation of your PS1 and PS2 games, and many more. This video is only made for educational purpose only. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Hello, my name is Fredo, and you're watching Project Edge. So the first thing you have to do here is to disable their internet connection. So we have to go to system and settings. Let's go to settings and go to system. You head down to automatic downloads. So turn off all this, uncheck everything. Now we have to set up our internet connection and change our DNS settings. All you have to do is go to the network. In order to do this, you have to turn on this one, then go to the setup connection. Whichever the one you're using, so mine, I'm just using a Wi-Fi. Just click custom to set your IP address to automatic, and then do not specify your DHSCP, and let's set up the DNS to manual. So here you have to input your, your manual DNS, 192.241.1. Two two one dot seven. So click done, and then set your secondary your secondary DNS to one six five dot two two seven dot eight three dot one four five. Once you're done, this will just block all the future updates from the PlayStation. So it will make sure that it doesn't get any update from your future use. So just click next. So next we're going to the PC and download the PS4 exploit to the USB. Okay, let's go. So the software we're going to use here to create a bootable drive for the EX Fat Hacks for the PS4 jailbreak or exploit have everything set. You have to select the files, which is the EX Fat image. Just open and select and select the bootable drive and you just need to click start. So it will ask for this. Um, pop-up message you just need to click ok so it's deleting the partition it will prompt you that it is done so it's creating an image file of the ex pack there there you go it will be a very quick one but once that's done let's go back to your ps4 so let's go to your internet browser so i'll input caro and then you just click go so yeah this is one of the options that you can do Let's click 9.00 gold. Let's wait for it to finish. Version 2.12.2, which is the latest release a um, few weeks ago. I think don't plug your USB first. Let's load this. So now you get the pop-up message that you need to plug your USB. So let's plug the USB. So once you get the um, USB storage that's unsupported format, just click OK is done and click OK so gold hand version 2.1 so there's a pop-up in the top left hand so it's already loaded so congratulations on jailbreaking your PS4 now let's check if it's really jailbroken let's now let's go back and let's just go back and go to the settings and you'll get the gold hand here congratulations on your new jailbroken PS4 if you have any server like uh, NAS or anything, um, you can actually use this. It's very helpful. Like for me, I have a Synology on DS2211, so I have saved some of my games there. And here we have a bin loader server. This will be very helpful to load some pay other payloads that you want. And that's it. Let me just enable this. Let's go back to your internet browser. Go to Cairo. So let's go back to your 9.0 go. So now we're going to install disable update. Go here and disable updates. This will install the payload. So it's installing. So payload loaded. So you see. So, so there. 
There's a pop-up menu to just disable all the updates from the Sony server. So we're done. So that's it. Um, it's very basic. You have a USB and a stable internet, either a Wi-Fi or a LAN connection. This will be super easy for you. So yeah. So have you decided to jailbreak your PS4? I'll let you answer that for yourself. Overall, the process is very easy and on top of that, it is also safe. You can actually remove your jailbreak afterwards by just updating your firmware version. So don't you worry. I hope you find this video helpful and I also made a Tagalog version of this video. I'll left all the links in the description box below. And as always, have a good game everyone. Peace.